I've known Ron Joseph for a long time. He's a very nice guy and also a good broadcaster, been in radio and TV. And Ron is a product of American Bandstand and my ex-manager, Tony Mamarella. And he's worked with this guy named Stan Blitz to put a book together for the last year or half a year or so on uh, Tony's life. And uh, this guy uh, didn't include a lot of stuff in the book that uh, Ron thought it was should be in there and was going to be in there. And, and now they had a, a parting of the ways. And Stan is still going on with his tour. I think he's going to be on Howard Stern Show. And hey, that's another one that I arranged for him. Yeah, so you arranged all this stuff. And you were going to be here with him tonight, right? Well, yeah. And then this guy uh, made a left, so you made a left. I made or a, you made a right. I made a U-turn. <laughs> Two rights don't make a left. Well, I made a U-turn. I was going to tell you something else. You know, one day I was interviewing Dick. You know, I know Dick for a long sure. time. He's he's always real nice with me. Oh, he's a sweetheart. And I, I went to visit him in in L.A. one time, and I and I had an interview with him for a, a syndicated show that I did out of Hollywood. And you know, I mean, I've had a lot of different shows in my career too. So I sat down with Dick, and he saw me. He was very gracious with me, and I said to him, uh, Dick, let's tell everybody about the time when Tony Mamarella managed you. And he stopped the tape recorder, he put his finger on it, and he says, "I never had a manager." Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, he would so, like he would like people to believe that. No, you should have said he was your ventriloquist. Well, then he went ahead and and he, I I asked him something else and I made some comment. He had a watch with two different time zones on it. Yes, because right? he came back and forth from the coast yes. for the ten thousand dollar pyramid. And I said something about Two Face, you know. And then he stopped the tape recorder. He says two strikes. He said one more. You're, You're out, out of here, Joey. <laughs> you have a big mouth like Ron Joseph in Philadelphia. You oh, tell the God. truth, Joey. I don't know. Well, I was, I was, I stopped after that. That's all right. All right. So now, Ron, when are we going to see you? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to surprise you, all and right. I'm going to come up there with my television crew and tape you because we're going on with this big anniversary show, August the fifth, at the old Forty Sixth Street, and maybe you can say some nice things. Oh, yeah, uh, anything you want. Because you're a good man. Listen, I want to thank you for allowing me across the nation here tonight to uh, tell my story on all your wonderful stations. If you see Jerry Blavitt, oh. tell him I said he's still Italian. Well, we'll let him slide. <laughs> he's a men's a man. <laughs> he is. He's a good guy, though. Okay. I like Jerry. You know, when I was starving and he, and he hired me to do something, the guy gave me money. How can I hate him? That, right? uh, that, you're one of the few. I love him the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ron, I'll talk to you later. All right, buddy. Uh, it's Joey Reynolds' show. We'll be right back.